Welcome back to Final Fantasy XIII. It's time to explore a brand new area, the Vile Peaks. And with a name like that, how could you go wrong? I think it's only in video games and movies and stuff that things can be named the Vile Peaks or something like that. You don't usually get away with naming something that is like Evil Street. Random fade out because it goes right to Vanille being awake and nothing has changed. You gotta wake up. Uh, Look. Oh. Look, lightning standing over there, preparing to fight things but not quite doing it yet. Gotta keep you kids safe, right? Gotta keep the kids safe, right? That's why I'm fighting alongside one of them. Wow, more Panthera. They're really falling back on these things, aren't they? Seriously, at this point, why are there still Pantherons to fight? Well, that, yeah, that was such a t tough fight, they have to rest now, I guess. I mean... Pantherons. Man, I'm beat. What? No break? They're tracking us. No I break. And this is the okay. No you crashed. You do. Yeah, like. Kind of you got enough to complain. I'm with lightning on this actually because oh, they're being chased by soldiers. Okay. Granted, they can also shoot lasers out of their hands, so it's not like they're much of a threat. Stick with her if I were you. Later then. So yeah, at this point everything's starting to split up and go their separate ways and such. <sighs> We've got Hope and Snow and Vanille and Saz in their own separate groups. Exactly. And I think this is all part of an elaborate plot by Square the Enix. We'll get to that stuff. soon. No matter how far we run, there's no escape. That thief clock. It's still a ticket. There's still time. You give up too easy, old man. This is again true. Why do people hate Vanilla? She just speaks the truth. There are some things that you just can't change. Uh, a kid like you would not understand. Yeah, I'm a kid. I don't understand. Well, I this is we pretty realistic, gotta again. say. I don't. I don't know. People kind of sometimes I feel. Complain about things not being good f because they're not Hollywoodized. And granted, I'm not gonna say Final Fantasy XIII isn't Hollywoodized. It's very, very fake a lot of the times. But there are realistic moments. I gotta say. But yep, this is the site of the crash of that airship that lasted a long time, didn't it? I gotta say, it's a much less visually interesting place than the last one. The music's less interesting too, it's kind of a step down now. Yeah, and try as I might, I can't get over there before the thing falls. Vanille kind of says weird stuff like that sometimes. <laughs> like, at least it's not this other unrelated thing. But yes, more flashbacks. And more force field fireworks. It's kind of at this point just showing how strange it is that everyone was all at this exact place at the exact same time they just never noticed. I kind of like that though. I like the idea that they could just be regular human beings and they don't stand out in a crowd or anything. Now, Vanille praying like that is actually kind of important, but I'll talk about that pretty close to the end. Oh, 
And there's a lot of little bits of dialogue in these scenes that don't get subtitles, so I don't really know what they all say. I guess they couldn't be bothered to give lightning a mortal for, you know, casual clothes. Or she just like wearing that armband and this is just her, like, I don't know, house coat. A soldier. Yeah, soldiers can't have feelings towards things Sorry, other than cold, hard, scientific fact. Really don't think guard duty is my calling. They don't make wishes or have hopes and dreams. That's impossible. I'm sure you heard about the accident at the Uriday Gorge Energy. Remember that now. And how it has the Psycom lads in a tizzy. Yeah. I like how this does sort of gradually explain things, but the thing is that Square Enix kind of has to realize that most people don't have a very good attention span. So the fact that everything wasn't explained perfectly right off the bat got everyone all upset, and they're like, "Oh, it doesn't explain anything. This is terrible. Worst game ever." Stuff. I kind of like it. It has good pacing this way. It's not ideal. It takes a bit too long, but I like the idea of slowly piecing it together. They do that in TV and movies and stuff all the time, but apparently when it's in a video game, oh no. Everything has to be simple, clean and cut. With sentiments like that, must be a great military. Also, that was the weirdest, most terrible line in this entire game. Whoa, look at that one! Who says that about fireworks? Just you. What were you expecting, Lightning? Should we wait? They'll catch up eventually. What kind of logic is that? They want to take breaks. She's going to be ahead of them. But yes, Hope is in the party now. And he is a synergist first and foremost. Yeah, something about the Crystarium, rather than trying and being all, you know, balanced and stuff, you should probably just choose one role to focus on at a time. Each character has a kind of a clear-cut role that they are m most well-developed for. Like, Lightning, I think, makes a good commando. Hope is just all around good magic, but I'd say that Synergist might be his primary role, or Medic. It really depends on what you want. Hope learned lots of Medic skills, so you might want to put some time into that. Uh, but his Synergist stuff gives him more unique abilities and stuff, too. Um, but yeah, Hope is pretty much a... He's built for magic. He doesn't really do much else. But he's fantastic for it. He has good casting speed. Lots of abilities he learns over time. Honestly, I think that uh, Lightning and Hope make one of the best parts, if not the best party of two, at least, in this game. They cover each other really well. Like, they, you have two medics, two ravagers. Uh, Lightning's a good commando, and then you have Hope for synergy as well. So, covers a lot of ground. But yeah, you really just want to go with whatever suits your playstyle. And this game does let you have that kind of, sort of. Yep, this is all just random junk taken from Pulse, supposedly. And that's why you'll find lots of Pulse robots and stuff. Yeah, um, Hope is a defensive synergist. Most of his abilities are geared towards protection from the standbys of Shell and Protect, which protect you from magic and physical attacks, respectively. He also gets the bar spells to protect you from specific elements, that kind of thing. And brand new enemy, Pulse Work Soldier. These things are annoyingly tough. However, they're very susceptible to preemptive strikes. They have very limited view range. So, you want to try and get preemptive strikes on them whenever possible to make them way easier to deal with. Um, 
when they're exposed like this, they take way more damage and they can't attack, so it's the ideal situation to fight them. But otherwise, you'll find all your attacks just kind of bouncing off them and doing very little damage. And they have a fairly high chain rate as well, too. Like, there's something I didn't really touch on. Not only are there different stagger thresholds for characters, but they also have different rates that the chain gauge will increase. Sometimes an enemy might only have like 110% chain rate, but it will go up so slowly, like you'll, you'll get like 0 0.6 or something like that for it. They'll take forever to chain anyways. And now Hope's tired too. I, know, I wouldn't even, at this point, I wouldn't be this tired. And these are supposed to be like superhuman people. It's this anime tiredness, I swear. Like, haven't you ever noticed that? I'm, well, okay, it's not that hard to notice, but in anime and video game stuff like that, like, as soon as they're running in a cutscene, they have to be panting. Otherwise, they don't. And no one pants as soon as they start moving, but as soon as it's anime, it's like, ha, 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 for every step. I can't do my Wait, gaspy enough okay. voice to actually recreate anime, but don't Sokka, mind me. Then why did you board the train? For Sarah. Flashback. Day 13. This must be an important one. Join the end of the line. It's like the least subtle Attention symbolism in anything ever. So basically, they're stealing all their personal belongings. We're totally not evil, by the way. Yes, it's for your own safety. If you don't leave your line, we won't kill you. So you're safe, you know? GameCube. So direct me. Let me on. I want to be purged. Uh, only sieves get purged. This is a ridiculously flawed idea then. This kind of automatically shows that the purge is a stupid idea. Cause it's like, oh, if you're in the military, you don't get purged. So clearly it's not as big of a deal as they make it. And is this an advertised thing? Like, if you join the military, like, do people join the military to avoid getting purged? Could these people have joined the military? Is I don't know. Like, they don't even try and hide how stupid of an idea this purge thing is. You'd think people would figure it out. So this is the cutscene leading directly into the opening. So now it all makes sense. Sure, it's been a few hours, but yeah. Sarah before they transported the vestige to Pulse and out of my reach. My only chance to save her was to join the Purge. So yeah, Lightning is not technically part of the Guardian Corps anymore. See you next time.